Hey, what's going on? Don here, <coughs> German 3D printing nerd. <laughs> and how is everybody doing? Well, as uh, you might have seen in my Facebook postings, <laughs> where I was getting a lot of feedback. But we'll get to that shortly. I was printing this last week some so called flip targets. That means when you hit it, as you can see, I mean, these things are really loose, yeah? So when you go to hit a target, you know, that thing's gonna, that thing's gonna flip up, yeah? And flip around. My finger's not fast enough for that, but uh, yeah, this is a small one. Uh, normally, you'd say this is for 10 meters, but I but uh, I've shot targets like this in this size at uh, 50 meters and more. And this one would be for range up uh, 100 meters. And this big baby back here, that one's going to be for the 250 range. And they've got holes in the bottom so that you can take some long screws and push them into the ground. Or what you can also do is uh, you can flip this thing around and then you can screw that to a ceiling if you have a long basement, you know, but uh, who has a long basement that's 250 meters long? <laughs> no, but I was getting a lot of feedback. They're telling me, hey, Don, if you shoot this with a PCP, those things are going to break. And I mean, hey, you can see I'm holding it and these things are really moving around, you know. I think even with the little, if there's a wind going on, these things would be moving a little bit, but uh, they're thick, and I don't think that they're going to break. But uh, yeah, if uh, Kyle Boom Ethics or whoever, if they send me a PCP air gun to test out. Well, I'll be sure to test them out on these signs. Just to see if they hold up. Because I have my video camera. I have this one with me, filming everything. And then I have my no pro down at the targets. Yeah, no pro. <laughs> Similar to a Go Go a GoPro, but it's uh, not a GoPro, so I call it a No Pro. <laughs> but uh, I have this one down at the targets, you know, so that uh, we have close-up videos on it. And this right here, I printed yesterday, and uh, this is for a so-called 14 centimeter. Uh, targets. You can get those targets with only one target in the middle and you can also get them with uh, five small targets. One in each corner and one in the middle. And uh, this prints all in one, one piece. You have these little clips right here. You have to put your paper on it because it has a little ridge right here on the sides and on the bottom it has a ridge so that you can put your target in there and then you can clip that thing on, you know. And then the spike that you push down into the ground, you just take three, um, what did I have here? Uh, I think it's an M2 screw and nut and just screw them together. So, got that all set up, 
And no, I don't have a PCP air gun right now. A friend of mine has one. We was out a week ago checking it out. Doing some shooting. And uh, he was also shooting some birds. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's something that I would not do unless a farmer would contact me and say, Hey Don, can you come over to my farm and do a little bit of pest control? Then that's something that I would do when it's official, you know? But uh, otherwise, target shooting. And yeah, well, for all of this, it took me about a week to print, you know, on and off. The biggest one here, that one took about 30 hours to print. The middle one took about 22 hours to print, and this one here took about 8 hours to print. And, uh, yeah, when I printed this yesterday, took about, I think it was three, three and a half hours to print. Nothing, nothing really big. And, of course, as always, I'll put uh, links down in the description to Thingiverse files. If that's something that you need to print out yourself, or want to print out yourself, to, to test, you know. Yeah, but anyway, thought it'd be a good idea to make a video on these. Let's see what kind of comments we get here. Yeah, I was getting a lot of comments over there in Facebook in the uh, different uh, air gun groups. <laughs> But, um, you know, one says he, uh, he made him out of metal, but uh, the only thing is, is if you make them out of metal, those things are so heavy, they can't move fast enough when they get hit, you know? But, uh, yeah, that's the thing for it. But anyway, as always, until the next time. Y'all take care of yourself, have a nice day, and we'll see you again. Bye.